So please welcome to the stage our next international expert, Trina Rice. Hello, everyone. Thanks for being here. I often wonder how much brilliance and beauty we miss by looking at things from one perspective and one point of view. Have you ever considered looking at yourself, your life, someone else, your business, from a different perspective, from a different point of view, even if it was upside down, right side up, backwards, inside out, or outside in. It was one of those grand days that I got to hang out with my great friend Jack. He was 16 at the time, and he wanted to try some new and different things. And one of the things he wanted to do was play golf. You see, Jack is a young, brilliant man with autism, and he doesn't communicate the same way that so many of us have become accustomed to. He doesn't use words. Instead, he chooses to use facial expressions, gestures, energy, and sometimes facilitated communication by typing on his iPad with some assistance. Well, one day we went and we grabbed a bucket of balls and we headed to the greens to practice the art of golfing. I fumbled around showing him how to hold the club and to swing and hit the ball. I by no means is, is, am an expert in golfing, nor do I choose to be and do not claim to be. <laughs> well, Jack held the club and he swung, and he swung, and he swung again, and still the golf ball remained on the tee. Becoming extremely agitated, he threw himself down on the ground and had an all-out tantrum right there on the green. Once we were home, Jack proceeded to lay on the couch in his own space, listening to music. After some time, I asked him if he would be willing to talk to me about his experience, his golfing experience. So I said, Jack, what do you know? And he said, I just could not get my eyes to focus on the ball. So I continued to ask questions. Would the ball have to be moving? Would it have to be a different color? And he said, it would have to be green, like the grass, so I didn't see a bunch of balls. It's hard to see a single object in a big space. So I looked at him a little puzzled, and I asked and prodded again, what else do you know? And he looked at me, and he asked, do you see just one ball when you golf? And I said, yeah, I see the ball that's sitting on the tee, and I keep my eyes on it until I hit it. And he looked at me with a gleam in his eyes, and he's like, I never knew you saw one ball. I see thousands. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. You see thousands and I see one. You see, sight is only one way we can create our reality. What we see is our own unique virtual reality to us, our own perspective, our own point of view. Our point of view creates our reality. So, what are you using to choose to create your reality? Is it based on limitations and labels and conclusions? What are you aware of and what do you know? I and also, how many of you are great at business because you see things from a different perspective? 
You see things other people don't see, and you're willing to look at things in a different way. That day I sat down with Jack and asked him the questions about his golf experience. I was willing to be a space of a completely different possibility. I was willing to be no conclusion and no judgment. I asked him, well, so what do we do and how do we create a different possibility? How do we create and change our reality? You ask questions. You have to be willing to have no conclusions. And you choose not based on anyone else's point of view. That day I sat down and talked to Jack. I was willing. I asked the question to him. I said, what do you know? And it was a question with no conclusions. What do you know? And what else do you know? And I didn't choose based on his point of view, nor did he choose based on my point of view. He said he needed a green ball that matched the green grass. That wouldn't necessarily work for me, but it worked for him. And it created a different possibility. He hit the ball. So one of the one of the greatest gifts that working with I work with these kids that this society this reality has labeled as autism. And one of the greatest gifts that they have given me is that they are so willing to not subscribe to this reality. They're willing to be a different possibility. They're willing to be the question when no one else is. So, what will you choose? Will you choose to go beyond the labels and beyond the limitations and look at things from a different point of view? Even if it's upside down, right side up, inside out, or backwards. What will you choose? Can you guys all stand up and give yourself applause for choosing to be here and choosing something different? Thank you. Thank you so much.